Uncle Albert, Admiral Halsey, a guitar lesson. First thing you need to do to your acoustic guitar is tune it to drop D tuning. So this string here, which is the first string you come to, the thickest string, instead of being tuned to E, tune it to drop D. That means instead of it being in tune when you press the fifth fret here, and, and there's your A string, it needs to, be, needs to have the same note when you press it on the seventh fret. So here we go. That's drop D. So all the other strings are normal tuning. You've got your, your E, B, G, D, A, and I've got known as drop D. Okay. First chord you need to play for Uncle Albert Abel Halsey is an A minus seven, and it needs to be strummed across the guitar to give it a drone. It's a rich chord, isn't it? And then you slide the chord up to a D six nine, which is there, D string fret four, G string fret two. Okay, so if you're singing a sing along to that one, we're so sorry, Uncle Albert. The verse carries on. When you come up to there's no one, no one's a G minor seven, played on drop D tuning, you fret the first, these four strings here, the bottom four, on the third fret. That's a G minor seven. Then home is an A minor seven. I is a C sharp. Now you play that, by there's a D shape you all know. Take it down one, you have C sharp, and put an F bass on it with a little pinky. It's a pain in the neck, but it's one of those things you've got to learn as an acoustic guitarist. So, it's a, so you're playing G minor seven. No one lived at home. I, I believe it's gonna rain. You slide that up. One for believe I'm gonna rain. Okay, if you are gonna sing this song, make sure that you um, understand that Paul McCartney sings it with falsetto. When he comes up to believe I'm gonna rain, he actually sings these notes. You would think that you'd sing because that's on the chord, but typical of McCartney, it's an idiosyncratic song mixing skiffle, jazz elements of rock and roll and prog rock, and it's a very complicated song, but you can learn it if you break it down into parts. So, first two chords, like I said, with the drop D tuning. We're so sorry if we caused you any pain, etc. Then we'd get to no one's left at home. No one left at home and That is how he sings. That's the notes he's singing. Believe I'm going to rain. And it's not. It's not. I believe it's going to rain, as everyone else seems to think in the world. He sings. I believe I'm going to rain. Okay. It's sort of like Mad Hatter's Tea Party type lyrics. Yeah. Now the jazz chord bit he plays is a G minor seven. He plays. He plays. You'll have to put a bass on here on the fifth fret here. So I'm playing that string the D string, the G string, and the B string, missing out the A string here on the drop D tuning, so it's... And then if you like, you can go down to the C chord. Or you can play... Oh, sorry. And some people play a bar C. And you play that four times, so that's every one of them. If I play that once, that's one. That's one, so I do four lots of those two chords. Then you go into the other interlude bit, which, which goes. Okay, now you double notes on this song, and there are double notes, because Paul McCartney liked double note scales, it's rock and roll stuff, are fret two on the G string, two on the, on the E string, move the G string to fret four, E to fret, th fret three, then it's five, five on both, seven, seven. Then it's uh, nine, eight, 11, 10, 12, 12. And then right up to the octave. And they get thrown in liberally at the end of those runs. And if you're playing this song acoustically, you don't have to be a slave to the exact song. It's a very fast paced song. Personally, I would slow it down and people can understand what you're playing. And don't forget, if you're playing it, you're on your own. Okay? So basically, when you get to the run, it is... 
But there's no one left at home and I'll be Okay, that's only part way up the scale would be. And then he's then the next verse which he plays um, is sung through again. The other verse, the interlude, he, he plays another type of minor chord. And this one here, he's playing. If you fret, fret these bottom four strings, he's playing. And then he changes the bass. It's, you hit this once, then you hit these twice. Okay? And then he goes into the, the lead run, which, which is A minus 7, C sharp. And there's your double note there. You've already played that with that, so you're going up to here. And then he changes key to the key of C, and he plays the run, which is... That's on an A minor. And then he's playing this string, this B string, back to the G string, so it's... That's it, that's on your A minor. On the C, you need to put a G top on it and go... All I'm doing is... Okay, so it's... I imagine you throw in one note there on the E, so it's play E, then as you can see the chords seem to answer each other. Okay, and that's a feature of this song. And it goes from E minor, which is played straight back from the B. And you can echo that on the on the uh, G and the D. Okay, and then it goes to the hands across the water, okay. It goes into the hands across the water bit, it's C, pure skiffle stuff. Hands to A minor, across the water is D minor, so D minor 7. Water, the echoes, water, G7, which can be played with just one finger. Hands strummed across the whole guitar. It's across, the, then sky is F to an A flat or a G sharp, is whatever you want to call it, to a B flat. So you hold that F shape there, on there that's an F, slide it up, one, two, three, slide it up another two, slide it up another two, so your chord names are F, G sharp or A flat, B flat, C, and then he puts a riff in, okay, which is classic McCartney, he, he also plays these on piano, you basically fret the G and the B string on five, five, so then you fret 7, 6, that's G7, B6, hold the shape, move it up 1, move it up 2, then move it back to, so it's, okay, so I'll speed that up, okay, and obviously when he's playing, he's speeding it up to sort of, skiffle level. Remember skiffle songs were played extremely quickly and they were extremely accomplished professional musicians using all manner of um, whatever instruments they could get get hold of, tea chests and things like that to make basses, but the, those guys knew rhythm. Okay, and Paul McCartney was a huge fan of skiffle. He, he, he uh, wrote songs like, like I've Just Seen a Face, which is pure skiffle magic. The last part, which is the live a little bit a gypsy get around bit, is E, C, D, C, E, F, G, A, B, C, A, and then he mirrors it with B, C, A, G, A, C, A, G, A, D, D, E, G, E, D, C, C. 
so you can play, you can learn it on fret or if you know music, listen to that. So speed it up for you. <laughs> And then he plays the riff again. Okay, and also he it does play very fast riffs. So I've got my drop D, so I can't do the the alternating bass. But on the C chord, he also plays, and then he alternates it on the G very quickly. Okay, and then you can put a bass run as well. Okay, or you can just play. And then he even breaks up the rhythm in which he can play an E with two chops on the two top strings. And then a bass run. And the speed up would be. I hope that helps you with learning Uncle Albert Admiral Halsey. I'm not giving you all the chords, I'm basically giving you a method of playing it which is which is more accurate to the original, which makes it more enjoyable for people to listen to. So you'll have to find the chords yourself um, and the tunes out, out, out there. It's just a question of a different guitar technique to learn it properly. Slide. 